Mike and Lisa Granado struggled for years just to make ends meet. We didn't have any concept about money and didn't think about, you know, what we should be doing really with our money at that time. It didn't help that Lisa was a self-professed shopaholic. I had about nine or ten credit cards and they were all maxed out. They all had, you know, balances on them. Within two years, the couple was $36,000 in credit card debt. To make matters worse, in 2000, Mike's company went through a merger and he had to take a pay cut just to keep his job. They came in and they cut overtime, they cut bonuses, they cut, so it was, it was a lot of little cuts that added up to a, a big end of the year cut. Lisa was forced to go back to work. I did go to work, but it really didn't do that much good because I was, whatever I was making, I was spending it. I wasn't, you know, paying bills or, or saving. I still hadn't learned yet. Eventually, the Granados had to sell their house. It gets very difficult when the time comes every month, you know, to pay mortgage utilities, you know, your credit card debt. And uh, when you're not able to make those payments, um, yeah, it's difficult and you get behind. Then in 2003, Lisa became a Christian. I felt in my spirit that the Lord was telling me that, you know, you can't go on this way. You know, it just, it doesn't feel right. It doesn't feel right to carry debt. Lisa and Mike went to her parents for advice. My mom and dad were already members of the 700 Club and they began to teach us about tithing. And I believe in November of 2004 is when I sent my first $20. Mike wasn't a Christian at the time and wasn't convinced that giving money away was a good idea. I just didn't understand. And I might've been skeptical a little bit towards it and thought, well, you know, that's, We've got to pay bills. But Mike sat up and noticed when Lisa's desire to shop disappeared. I think once you, you receive Jesus Christ and you give everything to him, he's the one that changes everything for you. And I don't even have the desire to go, you know, shopping. And Mike, too, became a Christian. And for the first time, the two began tithing together. And their finances started to turn around. In December of 2006, my husband received uh, two pay raises. The Granados have continued to give, and each year, Mike has received a significant raise. He's even been promoted. The Granados hope to pay off the remainder of their debt this year. If we have food on our table, and we have enough money to help other people, then that's, that's my definition of being rich and helping. And through the 700 Club, we're able to do that. And we've been blessed to do that.